if a parent gets out of line with an ump, they are out of the game until they officiate three games themselves. Some say giving parents the on-field perspective is a home run. So Deptford Township Little League President Don Buzuffi is the man behind this new rule, joins us live. Don, I got to say, I have been looking forward to speaking with you. Thank you for being with us. Uh, Thank talk, you for <laughs> talk to us about some of the incidents that sparked your league to make this change. Well, within the last two weeks, um, we've had two very uh, dependable umpires decided that um, we're, they're not going to take it anymore. They're being humiliated out on the field. And they just said, we don't need this. This isn't what we signed up for. And they walked away. So our umpire pool is down so low, we had to do something. And we this is this is not just in my league. This is not specific to Deputy Little League. This is all across the country. So we, just, we put this together. Hopefully this will work. We thought, okay, what do these parents not want to do? Number one, they don't want to be suspended indefinitely, and that's what they're what's going to happen. But we're going to give them the option, if they are suspended indefinitely by us, to come out on the field, accept a three-game um, umpire assignment, and at the completion of that assignment, we'll allow them back um, to to uh, uh, be a spectator for the uh, at their children's games. And it's not necessarily a I don't like to call it a punishment or disciplinary action. We want to shed some light and let them see what it's like out there, what these volunteers go through in the course of a game. And maybe they'll understand. We made it three games because we need them to see a bang, bang play. I want them to call one of those plays. Might not happen in one game, but in, within three games, it surely will. And they're going to see that this is not an easy task for these volunteers that are volunteering their time for their children. Absolutely, not an easy ta task. And again, we're talking about Little League. We're not talking about Major League uh, here. Are, are, do you think you'll have any parents who, who refuse to do this or uh, gladly accept it, but then make all the calls for his or her child? Well, it's, it's up to them. If, if, if they act out and they're gonna be abusive to my volunteers, we're gonna pull the, the Township Code of Conduct on them. We were the first town in the state to um, institute a code of conduct. And there's rules, and you just can't come out there and do whatever you'd like because you feel that's the thing to do. There's children out there that are playing that, are, that, that aren't complaining about the calls. They just get right back out there. Uh, very few parents that are disruptive. So that's gonna be their option. They either, they either come out and umpire or they're, they're, they're banned from our complex right. for a year. Or they are out. Don, before we let you go, I mean, let's just get to the heart of this. Talk about how these screaming parents that are berating officials really can impact these kids. Well, well, number one, it's it, you're not being a good role model. Um, and that's what we have to be for these children. Number two, this is learned behavior. And after a while, this could turn around and uh, this could just keep rolling over uh, generation after generation. We want to make sure that we're giving a good example for these children and we as as volunteers do our best to do that and 99 percent of the parents in the stands do the same thing with positive reinforcement but there's that select few yeah. that fighted over the years and you, that we're you can make some changes uh don buzuffi i gotta say this is right now absolutely my favorite story of the day uh thank you. hope that it works we'll check in with you and see how it works thank you so much for your time oh. you have a great day uh, take care Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.